I enjoy living here at Millerman. I, I enjoy the, the country lifestyle living on the farm. I am, I'm certainly enjoying the, uh, the boom time that's on right now. It's never been better. Well, if you don't enjoy the droughts and the fires and the floods and those times, it certainly makes you appreciate the good times when they come. And uh, well, right now it's fantastic and I wouldn't trade it for quids. I'm Andrew Douglas. I farm this property here in far southwestern New South Wales on the edge of the Victorian Mallee, New South Wales Riverina with my brother Lockie. Uh, my family's here, his family's here. Uh, the family has been in the area holding this, this country and since the 1920s. So uh, in that respect, we're third generation farmers. My grandfather was the first here. My family are, are, um, have been, were originally uh, dairy farmers in Scotland. They came out to Australia for the gold rush and were dairy farmers at Ballarat before moving up to the southwest Riverina and, and uh, after which they came up here to rule and made the train line from the Chuka to Bell Reynolds was put through in 1926. Probably I would say that the best thing about farming is the action that you get from doing things well and then you get totally rewarded for it when you do do it well and everything goes with you. You get well rewarded with selling stock and selling wool and um, present, sell, growing a good crop. So you tend to um, you really enjoy it when it's going well and it pushes you really hard the other way when it's not. And that's probably, I don't know, probably the, one of the reasons why you farm is because it gives you so much pleasure when it goes well, but it also treats you very meanly when it doesn't. <laughs> it just teaches you resilience because that's what farming does to you really. It is a, a job where you have to basically give everything you've got to get as much back as you can. And in giving everything, then you put your heart and soul into it. And you tend to uh, be uh, rewarded richly when it pays off. There is a real disconnect between the city and the country these days. People don't know, don't understand, don't care. It's, um, it's nothing like what people think. It's a, it's a great lifestyle. You just have to appreciate it in a different way. Especially now, I mean, it's um, the fundamentals and the job prospects in agriculture are terrific. As far as I'm concerned, the critical thing is to smell the roses along the way. I try to make a point of stopping to appreciate the emerging wheat crop or the year that's just had twins or triplets as you see them. Lots of people think it's just all hard work and bad times. It's nothing but, nothing like it. It's, um, there's, sure there's droughts and tough times, but the, um, the good ones come and um, at the moment it couldn't be better. People just need to understand how good it is right now for, for the, these type of commodities. I mean, there are commodities that are struggling, but um, it's, a, it's a great time to be in this type of agriculture. And um, people, uh, young people can make a career in rural Australia at the moment they've never been able to do before.